Chapter 11, Appendix A, Putting It All Together, Corporate Financial Statements The four core financial statements connect together to reflect an overall picture of the company's operations and its current financial state. Let's look at the financial statements for Wellborn Services Limited to see those connections. First, net income closes to retained earnings, and we see that here where the $80,500 in net income is included in the retained earnings column on the statement of changes in equity. Next, total equity from the statement of changes in equity equals total equity in the balance sheet. For Wellborn, the total equity on the statement of changes is $315,000 and that matches the total equity amount on the balance sheet. Finally, the ending cash balance from the statement of cash flows equals the ending cash balance on the balance sheet. Here we see that the ending cash balance of $135,000 on the cash flow statement is the same as the cash balance on the balance sheet. Now let's consider a revised income statement with discontinued operations. The multiple step income statement format was already illustrated in Chapter 5 for companies reporting on their continuing operations. This format enables companies to separate their operations into sections and subtotals as follows. A sales section with cost of goods sold and gross profit. Operating expenses by nature. Other revenue and expenses. And income tax expense. This results in income from continuing operations. Then we can have a section called discontinued operations, if applicable, which is then followed by net income. Let's discuss discontinued operations a bit more. This section is to report any business segment such as a business line or division that the company plans to sell or shut down. It could be that the segment is no longer profitable or the company may wish to focus their resources on other segments within the company. In order to be classified and reported as a discontinued operation in the income statement, the company must have a formal plan in place to dispose of the segment within one year. If no formal plan exists, the revenue and expenses from the segment will continue to be reported within the continuing operations section of the income statement. Items in the discontinued operations section are to be reported net of tax, with the tax amount disclosed. Here's an example of a discontinued operations section of an income statement starting with the income from operations. Then we have other revenues and expenses, such as interest income from investments, gains from the sale of trade investments, and interest expense. After adding or subtracting these other revenues and expenses to the income from operations, we end up with income from continuing operations, before tax, which is then followed by income tax expense, resulting in net income from continuing operations. Then, we have our discontinued operations section that consists of the loss from disposal of the division, net of tax, of $147,000. This disclosure implies that the before-tax loss from the disposal was $210,000, which is offset by a tax savings of $63,000. We always disclose the tax impact as shown here and there is no separate income tax line as shown above in the continuing operations section. The discontinued operations amount is then added or subtracted to the net income from continuing operations to end up with the final, bottom line, net income.